In August 2023, a devastating wildfire tore through Lahaina. Homes, businesses, and entire neighborhoods were reduced to ash, leaving the community in urgent need of rebuilding. But the recovery isn't just about clearing debris, it's about rebuilding safely, accurately, and efficiently. Maui Land Surveyors, working alongside Basemap Consulting, began to use drones equipped with LiDAR and photogrammetry cameras to map the affected areas in incredible detail. LiDAR allows us to see beyond the surface, capturing elevation, terrain, and structural elements with pinpoint accuracy. So now we're looking at the data. It's all in Stitch 3D, which is where we're hosting this data set so that we can share with stakeholders. Cool thing about this is you can share it even with a text on your phone. And this is a almost 40 gigabyte LAZ file. So we're gonna go over to a construction area right next to the canal that runs through the middle of Lahaina. And this is highlighting how when you're capturing this kind of data, you need to make sure that the existing conditions of what's changed and what's unaffected, everything's got to tie together. So I'm going to look at this cross section right here. We're going across the canal through a construction zone. So if we look at the cross section right here, you can see we got really, really good detail on the LIDAR. I mean, this is the bottom of the canal right here. And you want to make sure, of course, as you're building new stuff and as you're figuring out what's going on after a disaster, you want to make sure your drainage works, all that kind of stuff. So we've got a nice, a really, really nice thin point cloud right here of the XT32 LiDAR data, and it goes all the way across. You can see every single roof. I mean, there's there's little details in this data that you just don't realize you need until you get it. So, I mean, every single part of this ties together and helps us understand the bigger picture of this recovery effort for Lahaina. So another big thing about using drone LiDAR specifically on these large scale sites is you can get higher levels of the data. So we're looking at a classification map. So this is the LiDAR points themselves being classified into you know, buildings, vegetation, wires, all that kind of stuff. Um, there's different people have different uses for this kind of thing. Not everybody needs something like this, but if you do and you're able to go in here and say, oh, well actually turn all the buildings off. That's incredibly helpful uh, if you want to turn off all the power lines or if you just want to see the power lines. You can do that too. You know, there's lots of different things that you can do in here and it's up to, you know, the stakeholders to decide what's really important. But if we're able to capture all of these things here at once, we can do all this in post. So in this so oceanfront example, we've got an existing condo building or hotel that's completely untouched. It's like nothing ever happened, but then look right next door. It's a total loss. You know, things like this, they don't always make sense, but if you're able to capture the entire area, then you can get data that works wherever you need it. So if we were to just isolate every single property in here and try to capture them one at a time, we'd still be doing it. We'd be out there for months. But with this capture method, using LiDAR and photogrammetry, we can get all of the affected areas all at once. And so when you're going to rebuild this as an engineer or you're looking at this as a local official, you can get the data you need. So jumping over into the photogrammetry real quick to highlight something that I think a lot of people need to know, and I see this a lot online, you can go to Lahaina and visit, and it's a beautiful experience out on the west part of Maui. I uh, just wanted to highlight some of the stuff. We've got the Lahaina Cannery here in our photogrammetry map and the uh, old Lahaina Luau and then uh, Mala, the restaurant over here. This was really good. Uh, but, you know, we've got this intermixed. Yes, there are things going on. There is recovery going on. Be respectful, of course, to everybody there. If it says don't go down that street, don't go down that street. It's really easy to understand. But there is a lot to see and explore uh, there, you know, Maui chocolate, it's over here. There's lots of great things in this industrial area. It's been a wonderful experience for us to work with Lahaina and work with the residents. And, you know, we just want to see people get back in their homes. You know, that's all that really matters. You know, we and of course, one of the most famous parts of Lahaina is the banyan tree. So we had this in the capture and just want to say, you know, what a miraculous recovery. And I hope to keep seeing this 
right here. And as, as the recovery goes all the way around it, we hope to see this get stronger and stronger. Traditional surveying methods would take months, but with LiDAR, we can generate a complete high resolution data set in days, helping to accelerate the recovery process and give the people of Lahaina the information they need to move forward. The rebuilding process will take years. It's up to us to help it take a little bit less time for these residents. If you'd like to support rebuilding efforts, consider donating to verified relief organizations in the links below. Every contribution helps. If you need aerial mapping, LiDAR, or data, disaster recovery, or any project, contact Base Map Consulting. We're here to help.